the Wabash Valley affected by the devastating earthquake in Haiti. Good evening, I'm Patrice Dayton. And I'm Mark Allen. News 10's Jessica Hayes spoke to a local pastor today worried about friends now living in Haiti. She joins us now live in the studio. Jessica? Mark, originally from the Wabash Valley, David Carwell and his family now live and work as missionaries just outside Port-au-Prince in Haiti. Today I spoke with Carwell's former pastor about his friend's life and death situation in one of the world's poorest countries. Just the living conditions are horrific anyway. <laughs> Pastor Jim Gibson has been on several missionary trips to Haiti. Now he worries about another Wabash Valley missionary, David Carwell, originally from Paris, Illinois, who now lives in Haiti with his wife and son. The house is so badly damaged, they're afraid to go in it. They're not living in it. They're living out on their in their driveway. Gibson received word Carwell and his family survived the quake through a message on Facebook. He was just letting people know that he was safe and the family was safe. So it was a fairly short post, and he, was, he said he would get more details later. So here this is Thursday. Gibson says life in Haiti before the earthquake was already life and death. Now a 7.0 magnitude quake will devastate the nation. There's basically no government support system. When you talk about rescue teams, the government doesn't have any rescue teams. Its local neighborhoods are trying to rescue their neighbors and their relatives and families. A nation that needs your help. The immediate need is for the survivors because what, what is now a perilous situation is nearly catastrophic if they don't get water and food. As even lucky ones like Carwell and his family may have lost everything except their lives. If you'd like to donate to the victims of the earthquake, go to our website for a list of ways you can help. Mark, back to you. Thank you, Jessica.